Hello everybody, my name is Ricky Smith. Welcome again to Faith on Friday. I don't know about you, but when I was little, I wanted to touch everything. If it was pretty, if it was shiny, if it had a different color or a different texture, I needed to touch it. There was a time I was hanging out at the lake with some friends and there was something pretty in the water. So of course I had to touch it. It was a piece of broken glass and I cut my finger. I ran home to tell my mom because I knew that she was going to patch me up and make me feel better. But when I got there, she said, why are you always touching things? This is what can happen. Now go clean it up. And I felt horrible. So there I was in the bathroom crying, hurting and washing off my finger. When my dad came around the corner and said, so what did you learn? That left an impression upon me. You know, they tell us that curiosity kills the cat, but does it really? Consider this. Carl Benz wanted to know, is there a way for man to travel without using horses? Years later, he patented the first car. And then the Wright brothers, their question was, is it possible for men to fly? They found out, of course, that the answer was yes. And then Madam C.J. Walker, she wanted to know, is there a way to better care for our hair? And later, the hair care industry was born. You see, curiosity may be just asking a question that no one else has asked before, and then trusting that the answer is going to change the way we do everything. There was a man by the name of Martin Cooper. He had one question. Is it possible to make a phone call from my car? And the answer was the modern day cell phone and all that that's entailed. So the next time somebody asks you why you're always touching something, tell them this, that the future belongs to the curious, the ones who aren't afraid to taste it, to touch it, to poke it, to explore it, to wear it, or just try it on. It's not so much that curiosity kills the cat, it may just be finding out how. Here's to the crazy ones. The misfits. The rebels. The troublemakers. The round pegs in the square holes. The ones who see things differently. Because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. Thank you everybody for watching and thank you so much for sharing the video. Hey, while you're here, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment. We want to hear your thoughts on today's message. My name is Ricky Smith and I'll see you next Friday. Hi, I'm Ricky Smith, the host of Faith on Friday, here to let you know that the summertime series Faith on Friday Extra is back. Every Tuesday in June, July, and August, I'll introduce you to inspiring people, engaging topics, and businesses that I hope you'll find interesting. So look for Faith on Friday Extra every Tuesday starting in June. My name is Ricky Smith, and I'll see you then.